Now, sports. Welcome into sports, everyone. I'm Chaz Mesplin. We start our week this time by recapping the best plays of last week. So let's jump right into it. Coming in at number five, ASU and U of A basketball. Caleb Love throws up the alley-oop and Keyshawn Johnson is there for the fingertip tap-in. At number four, Gila Ridge and Yuma baseball. The Hawks get a, the Hawks get the out at second. They don't get the out at first, but they catch Eli Lujan in a pickle. They're going to eventually tag him out right there to end the inning. And at number three, ASU is mounting a comeback, but Caleb Love is going to sink a back-breaking three as the Wildcats run away and get the win in Tempe. At number two, runner stealing in Yuma Gila Ridge. The throw from Andres Ortiz is in time and the tag is there to end the inning. And at number one, Sergio DeCello crushes one deep to right field. That one's long gone, a walk off home run in extra innings for AWC against Pima Community College. What a way to cap last week's top plays. Now remember, if you have any submissions for this week, you can submit them to me on Instagram or on Twitter at Chaz Messman. It was sophomore night for Arizona Western College. The Matadors as they welcomed in the Glendale Community College Gauchos to the house tonight. First possession for AWC, Clem Pichard is gonna dump it to Bernard Desi, who nails the corner three and gets things going for the Matadors. A few possessions later, AJ Marmalejos drives to the basket, lays it up and in for the bucket. And folks, his name will be called all night long. They get it to Marmalejos. Once again, AJ beyond the arc, pulls up from three, cha-ching. He would drop 32 on the night. Later in the half, Chase Pavey with it for the Gauchos. He knocks down this three for Glendale and they pull within one. But from then on out, it would be all Matadors. Marmalejos fires it up the floor to Janoy Thomas who slams it home for the bucket. Closing minutes of the half, Marmalejos with it once again. He gives it to Leroy Glover inside to Mejia Gledich with the jam. Arizona Western lights up the scoreboard as they run away with this one, 98 to 65. To the women's side of this matchup, the Lady Matadors welcoming in the Gauchos here in this one. Third quarter, AWC started up seven. Rita Gomez comes off the screen, pull up jumper is good. A few possessions later, AWC works it inside to Divine Harris, or they work inside, then back out to Divine Harris, and she buries the triple. And AWC was just rolling. They're up by double digits now. Later in the quarter, Gomez inside feeds it to Fatima Katembo, who finishes it off the glass 4-2. Final seconds of the quarter, Gomez from beyond the arc. She lets this one go, and she beats the buzzer. The Lady Matadors would hold the Gauchos to only nine points in the second half as AWC absolutely runs away. They take it 81 to 36. This year, San Pasquale had two wrestlers, Elias Espinoza and Josie Shepard, who went on to win AIA state wrestling titles. They, they practice uh, after hours. They put in a lot of work and they, they well-deserved. Well deserved. That's, that's a very awesome accomplishment. Espinoza, a junior heavyweight, has now won back-to-back -back state titles, and he is determined to keep pursuing greatness in his senior year. Oh, it feels great, you know. I put all this work in. Um, I won it last year, so and uh, it took a lot of work. It was my first year, and uh, I wanted to come back and win again, which. Hopefully, I'm a three-timer, hopefully, that's so right. that's the plan. Shepard made a history at San Pasquale, winning the 152-pound state title and becoming the first girls state wrestling champion in program history. Um, it's a, it was a very proud moment for my coaches and my whole family who went to support me. Um, I think it was because I'm the first female to ever win state here at SP, so it's a very proud moment. Very proud as coaches, you know, because that's a combination. You know, she's a senior and she put in a lot of work and you know, she broke a lot of barriers here at Tampa Squall. So it was a good feeling, you know. Also, today, a big comeback win for Cibola Baseball over Yuma. They trailed by five runs at one point in that one and came out on top. And that is all we have time for in sports.